Cities across the U.S. are increasing the use of video surveillance and expanding data gathering programs. This week in Long Beach, California, police announced a program to synchronize police data with hundreds of private cameras throughout the city, including live feeds from beaches, retail stores, parks, and other public spaces. Duluth, Minnesota has recently completed the second phase of a camera surveillance project on its busy downtown and waterfront areas. The cameras are positioned high on 20-foot light posts and aren't immediately noticeable. The city says it now has 33 cameras installed and the video feeds are available to police officers. In New York, the police department has also unveiled a new citywide security system, which they developed in partnership with Microsoft. Civil rights watchdogs say the system raises additional privacy concerns in a city where police have been under fire for improper surveillance of residents. FSRN's Caroline Lewis has more. The domain awareness system streams data from existing surveillance tools like smart security cameras and automatic license plate readers into a centralized hub that contains all department databases and records, allowing users to access massive amounts of information about the public more efficiently than ever before. New York City Police Commissioner Ray Kelly called the system one-stop shopping for investigators. The system allows us to connect the dots by instantly tapping into the details of crime records, 911 calls, license plate readers, videotape footage, and more. What makes this tool even more useful is that all the information is presented visually in uh, geographic and chronological context. This allows investigators, analysts, and operational personnel to generate and refine leads to identify patterns, and to optimally deploy manpower. The domain awareness system cost between 30 and $40 million to develop, but Mayor Bloomberg predicts it will ultimately pay for itself. Microsoft has promised the city 30% of all revenue generated by the sale of the system to police departments in other cities, as well as access to future security innovations. New York, as you know, already serves as a national model for combating crime. And now, thanks to our partnership with Microsoft, we'll be able to get more than a simple thank you for our efforts. Kelly has been instrumental in expanding the NYPD's use of both technology and surveillance during his tenure. When I came back to the police department in 2002, I found out that the department was still a very big user of whiteout and and carbon paper. The domain awareness system incorporates approximately 3,000 closed-circuit cameras, which were installed as part of the Lower and Midtown Manhattan security initiatives over the last seven years. The cameras are primarily located near high-traffic tourist and financial centers in Manhattan, with about 300 perched over neighborhoods in the outer boroughs. Cameras are currently concentrated near potential terrorist targets, but the NYPD plans to expand its network of security cameras throughout the city. The department intends to spend about $50 million on security cameras for 85 public housing developments, according to the New York City Housing Authority. Some residents of neighborhoods with high crime rates welcome the cameras, while others do not like the feeling of being watched. My name is Jason Herrera. I live in the Bronx. I'm from Mashulu Parkway. That's uh, 208th Street on Jerome Avenue. And are there NYPD security cameras in your neighborhood? Yes, they are. How do you feel about that? Do you think it makes the neighborhood safer? Uh, I don't necessarily think it makes it safer. I just feel that it makes you feel more under surveillance in the sense that, you know, you're not, not everyone's a criminal, even though there are criminals out there. And, um, you know, it just it just makes you feel like you're being watched at all times, and it's not really a comfortable thing. Kelly acknowledged that surveillance could be unsettling for some, but he countered that being photographed and recorded is now an inescapable part of public life. I think that, that anonymity is pretty much over. You walk into a department store, your picture is taken mm-hmm. 30 times. A privacy policy for the Domain Awareness System, released in 2009, states that, by default, the department must purge all video footage from the system after 30 days and all license plate data after five years, 
though there are opportunities to retain data for longer in both cases. Christopher Dunn, the associate legal director of the New York Civil Liberties Union, says that these policies are not legally binding and that the system lacks oversight. There have to be restrictions on what they can actually collect. There have to be restrictions on how long they keep it. There have to be requirements about when they destroy it. And there have to be restrictions on who they share it with. And none of those exist right now. A demonstration by Jessica Tisch, the NYPD's counterterrorism policy and planning coordinator, showed that the city's automatic license plate readers indiscriminately collect data about motorists. Of license plate readers deployed out in the field. We have fixed license plate readers and we have mobile license plate readers. When those readers scan a plate, that plate is sent over the city's wireless information network into our domain awareness system. The license plate readers are already deployed around New York City and automatically scan for the license plate number, make, model, and color of any vehicle that passes by them. The NYCLU has filed a Freedom of Information Act request for records detailing how law enforcement officials are using the information gathered by these automatic license plate readers. Dunn says that there are many possible ways to abuse access to information about non-criminal suspects. You know, whether it is the police department unhappy about journalists or about uh, advocates who are critical of them or if people who otherwise are not in favor with them, they're going to have an enormous amount of information in which they can just, you know, punch in a license plate for, you know, say a reporter and find out where that reporter has been possibly every day for the last six months, for the last three years. There's just no reason for the police department to be stockpiling information about innocent people. The NYPD demonstrated the ease with which the domain awareness system can map human activity over a particular area and time period. Following revelations that the NYPD had been spying on Muslims and communities of color, some are concerned the technology will be misused. The NYPD is currently involved in multiple lawsuits for unwarranted surveillance, including in other states. Earlier this summer, eight New Jersey Muslims sued the NYPD for covertly tracking them with spies and surveillance cameras, saying it was a violation of their constitutional rights. Caroline Lewis, FSRN, New York.